Welcome back to another episode of Living in Korea. I'm your host, Crypto Father, and I'm here with my beautiful wife. We're having lunch in a seafood restaurant, and I'd like to show you what it looks like. So it is, as it is very common, um, the lunch menu here provides a variety of dishes, bean sprouts, kimchi, nothing goes with kimchi without kimchi, um, and some other little side dishes here. The main part of it is a mixture of raw fish with vegetables and some spicy sauce, and in addition to that comes a bowl of rice which you then scoop up, throw into this mixture and mix it all up nicely and make it ready for consumption. Uh, there's also a spicy soup. It's made of um, vegetables, leftover fish, um, mostly fish bones. There's very little meat inside. <clears throat> and there's also some tofu in there. And of course, we can't forget the chili pepper powder that's added for the kick. Oh, there's also some radish and bean sprouts. Uh, we come here quite frequently, maybe once every couple of weeks, um, simply because the food is uh, reasonably priced and it's decent and I guess it's healthy because you stuff yourself with uh, a lot of vegetables and it's not too heavy. <laughs> How is the food? Mm, always good. <laughs> this here is a rice water. After you cook rice, after you cook rice, there's always some rice left over at the bottom and you take it, I guess, and you can throw it in with some water and boil it some more and that's what you get, so it's like... Uh, and you can drink it, it's served warm. What I usually do is add some sugar to it and it gives it some nice um, dessert type feel to it. We're totally gonna go for hamburgers today, we visit Burger King. <laughs> That was my wife's initial um, suggestion for lunch. And I'm kind of glad that she changed her mind. <coughs> because, you know, as much as I like to eat burgers um, and french fries, the amount of grease and... So this is a much healthier, much better option, I think. Feeling healthy? And the red stuff that's slathered on top of it is uh, the red chili pepper or uh, spicy sauce, I guess, and it comes in a gooey kind of saucy form, which you slather all over your rice and just mix it in. Um, and you can, I don't know, it usually comes pre served with the sauce inside, but you can uh, grab the bottle and add some more on your own if you like. You can choose if you like it very, very spicy, which a lot of Koreans do. If you notice, I think my, my dish is a little. A bit lighter huh? in color than my wife's. Yeah. Because <laughs> she likes it a lot spicier than I. My tolerance for spicy food can only take me so far before my taste buds um, capitulate and just won't accept any flavor anymore. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? If you don't know what FutureNet is, it's our money making platform. Um, you can check out some of my other videos about FutureNet and what it is and how to get involved if you're interested in making a bit of extra income on the internet. I'm pretty stuffed, I'm quite happy to have come here. Um, the fish carcass is visible, this is what's at the bottom of the soup. Um, leftover bones, uh, that's pretty much what the soup is made of, there is no real meat, it's just um, after cleaning the fish and serving it <coughs> in the main dishes, um, the leftover, like I said, the, the gills and the spines are left and then thrown into the soup and boiled. Which is good, I guess, you know, most Westerners, I think, tend to throw these things away. Mm -hmm. In Korea, uh, nothing gets wasted. And I don't see why it should. You don't need to eat the bones, but it's still good to boil. And to boil the soup doesn't take a lot. Uh, the ingredients are pretty simple. Uh, vegetables, leftover fish bone with some meat on it. Um, tofu and some chili powder and I guess maybe some, some some other salt and whatnot and that's it you throw it all in takes you about five minutes to make boil it and it's done how is it oh, 
This is my bowl. Clean. I nearly licked it, it was quite good. Sorry. Oh, I'm still not finished. I'm finished. 